Alright guys, this is going to be a, another flashlight video. This is um, something my brother helped me, uh, Picot 5.8. He helped me out with this a lot because his job, let the camera focus, his job was uh, pretty dark for a while there. Uh, from what he told me, they actually installed some extra lights, so it wasn't quite as dark as I'd like, like it to be, but um, you guys should get the point. I'm going to try and keep this quick and short. Um, you have the three flashlights of Velociraptor. The micro and the mini Raptor, and then you have the keychain one. You know, it's not nearly as bright as those, but a little promotional thing. So, this one here, I believe, was 800 lumens, 600, and 300. I'm not going to demonstrate them. My brother did an excellent job, and Picot, thank you very much, bro. Appreciate it. Um, we do have a couple ideas, though. He came up with a great idea of a headlamp. Because we're in construction, sometimes we need both hands. So, like the headlamps that you get at in like Home Depot or Lowe's, if you could do one with an LED that's like 800 lumens or whatever, that would be great. That might be something that would in construction would be uh, very interested in. Not only that, I'm wondering if there's a gun mount for these. If there's a universal gun mount, not particularly this big one here, but maybe the micro or the mini. That and with a pressure switch cap for the to mount it on a Picatinny rail. Those are a couple other options I think uh, this product would definitely benefit from. Other than that guy, oh, also if you guys are already interested, uh, my brother does mention in his portion of the video when you see it, if you go to buy it, go to the website and buy it, if you punch in Tadpole 696 in the promo, in the promo code, you will get 10% off. I highly recommend these. They're not overly expensive. You could get a Surefire. You could get uh, whatever other brands out there of LED lights. And I'm sure they're good. I'm sure they're great. I just, me personally, I just can't spend $250 on a flashlight. It's just not going to happen. These are all, the whole kit for, say, this one with the charger and the batteries. It's under 100 bucks. I think it's like. I think I quoted like $79.99 or $69.99, something like that. Check it out, guys. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact me or their website. But remember, guys, 10% off if you guys are interested in it. So uh, without further ado, please check out the, the rest of the video, and you'll get to see some cool stuff, man. Take it easy, guys. What's up, everybody? Picot58 here. My brother Tadfold 696 wanted me to do a quick review on these Void Hawk flashlights. Now I'm not going to get into detail because you guys know I don't really go that deep into stuff. But Tadpole, he ended up doing a review on the flashlight. So anything you guys need to really see with the technical stuff, go to his channel, uh, um, Tadpole 696. So he gave me these, these Void Hawk flashlights. Now I took some footage guys, I was at my job site, I did it early in the morning before work. It was very dark in certain areas. They added a lot of light, so you'll see me running through some tunnels, showing you guys how bright they are. Now, you know, they are LED flashlights. They're fully adjustable. They slide back and forth. You can refocus your beam, kind of get real small. Pretty, pretty bright, right? You know, I'm not doing this in the dark. But they come with these adjustable chargers. Right here, you can charge up two different batteries if you want. You also get a car charger, plug, you get the, uh, where is that, which one? Right, right there, your car charger, you get your wall chargers, you get these three different flashlights. Now, I know they have a fourth one you can get, but my overall opinion of these lights, a um, couple things. I like the fact that they're LED, I like the fact that they're focusing. Um, the one thing I have, like, uh, okay, to be honest with you guys, I like everything about them. The one thing I don't like are these clips. Now, these clips you can take off. I don't know so much about this one. Maybe you can pull it apart. You can get this belt clip off. But the one thing, I was actually using them at work, actually. The one thing with this one, with these two set screws, you can see the gap in there. If I can show you. There's the gap right in here. I kind of wish they were spring mounted maybe, but the only thing is I think of the cost of it, of actually making them into parts and putting them together and the fact that people are rough with them, they'll actually break them. But that's the one thing I don't like about them. Other than that, I mean guys, everything. They're lightweight. 
LEDs, you can bring the beam in and out. Batteries last the uh, several hours. You know, I mean, you got the chargers, you got the holsters you can put on your belt. So they're they're good flashlights. Um, got a couple other ideas. I hope Tadpole, I gave my ideas what you know to contact them and uh, for other other lights. So we'll see what happens with that, and he'll fully email. Them. But check out the video. I'll show you how bright they are in the dark. We're gonna leave the rest of that technical mumbo jumbo up to Tadpole. So go to his channel, Tadpole Six Nine Six. Check it out, and he's got a he gets a ten percent discount. So I guess when you go on site on the website for Void Hawk and you go to order these flashlights, you punch in his uh, his YouTube name, you guys get ten percent off. So enjoy the video, guys. So we're back in the tunnel. You guys, you see all the way down there. Let's see if I can shine the flashlight even through the light. Eh, it's too much light down there. But another dark room, totally different. See how the light just pinpoints everything on the floor. That is bright as hell. Actually shines up the whole room. Little little holes, little cubby holes. More shit and debris. But it shows all the tunnel access. Let me. Let me walk over this crap and see if I can show you guys, see if there's another spot in here. But you, Eric, you haven't been on a site like this. Now check it out. It just came from this direction, just made a right. See the lip of this hole? This used to be a big ass pipe chase. See how dark it is? Let's show you slowly shine it up and show you the passageway. See how far down that goes? Flashlight is bright. Now this is the medium guy. I, this is the one I really like. Kind of some scary movie shit right here. Very, very dark. Wonder what the other ones look like. Let's see. Shot that off. Here's the little guy. The little one. Boom, little one. Might have to recharge the other one. So that actually shows you how deep this tunnel is. Once you go down here, well, 50 feet. It hooks a different direction. Who knows what the hell was down there. See how bright the big guy shines in this thing. Look how strong that is. Now you guys are got to be impressed with these LEDs. All these lumens. Imagine the face just popped out. Scary, scary. Let's see if we can find more footage. All right, just walked out of there. Got another little, little tunnel. Still in the same big tunnel, but a, another passageway. Shines the whole thing. Let me push that in, expand it out. There you go. Got, a, got another one right here. Nice cardboard box in here. Wonder where the hell this goes to. Let me move this box. Let me get that out of here. Guys, I can't even see the back of that. Wow. It's hard for that to focus. Look how far back that is. I mean, these bright flashlights. Look at that expand. Void Hawk. There you go. All right, everyone. This is what I wanted to show you with these flashlights. Now, if you look on the back of it, it's got this clip. I showed you that earlier at home. These clips I like. Um, I wish they were a little bit maybe tighter, maybe spring loaded, but I understand cost of production that the springs might break. But I think they're very essential to the flashlight. Now let me show you. I'm going to go up this ladder. I got a sprinkler pipe here. I got to cut this head back, right? It's a little dark in here, so basically what I do is I'm going to hold my sheetrock up. 
right? And I'll measure, or I could do it from the stud to the make of the fitting. But the problem is, it's too dark. And it's dark here for my eyes, well, my one eye. So let me show you. What's cool is it's got this clip on it, right? I turn the flashlight on, I try not to blind myself. I'll actually take the clip here, and I'll hook it onto the stud. Okay, let me see if I can do this from each with one hand. There you go. Actually, hook it onto the stud. Just like that, it's hooked on. I mean, that's pretty essential. It actually works well. Now, I know the camera's moving around. I'm trying to do this on a ladder. I'm trying to do it with my head up in the ceiling. And now, I can actually get more light if I wanted to and actually read. So, which is great. Now I'm looking at like probably around six and a quarter, six and a half. But that's the whole concept of it. You can actually hook it on. And if that's not good enough to read it, I can probably make it even brighter by doing it that way. Get a little bit more light hooking on the bottom. And that's probably a better example to show you. So there you go. A little bit more light. That's one cool thing about them. I actually love these clips on them. And the other cool thing about the clip, you come on down, as you take it, you can actually hook it on the inside of your pants. Just like that, you hook it on your sweatshirt, hook it anywhere, and it's right there. And you don't need one of those clunky belt holders because I got one for my mag light, and I tell you what, it sucks. It always gets stuck, it doesn't want to come off right, it's just it's a pain in the ass. But there you guys go. I hope you enjoy it. I hope uh, Tadpole's happy with my review. See you guys later.